Hello, my name is Donnie. I am a naturalist here at the Minnesota Zoo. And with me today is Toopy. She is a seven-year-old southern tamandua. These animals come from South America where they like to live in forests and scrublands. Now, um, out in the wild, these guys, they like to eat bugs, insects, and also small invertebrates. Today, we are feeding her crickets and mealworms. Animals have many amazing characteristics and abilities that allow them to survive and solve problems in the wild. These are called adaptations. The adaptations of tamanduas and other animals are now being studied by scientists and engineers in order to find new and innovative ways to solve common human problems through the process of biomimicry. Today we are going to act as engineers and study the adaptations of tamanduas while also exploring the function or what the adaptation does in hopes that they might inspire or improve an invention to help us at home. Tamanduas have a long tongue that can be up to 16 inches. The tongue is long, sticky, and gooey and perfect for slurping up insects. The tongue on a tamandua is covered in small barbs that can grab the insects and bring them into the anteater's mouth. If you look closely, you will notice a tamandua has four giant sharp claws on the front feet that it can use to dig open termite mounds and anthills, which scientists say can be as hard as concrete. These can also be used as a defensive weapon against predators like the jaguar and margay. The claws can also be used to climb up trees. Do any of you have a tail? Would you like one? The tamandua has a prehensile tail, a lot like a monkey's tail or an elephant's trunk. This tail works wonders to aid it in climbing or staying safe in the trees. The underside of the tail has less hair on it to help it grip onto things like the palms of your hands. The tail can also be used as a kickstand or tripod. The ankles on a tamandua can rotate so that climbing down a tree is just as easy as climbing up it. The tamandua is covered in coarse fur that makes it very difficult for the ants and termites to bite it when it is feeding on them. If you were here right now, you would probably notice that the tamandua smells and that you'd be holding your nose. These guys, they stink. They are called the stinkers of the forest and they are called that because they emit a very, very noxious odor. And that odor is perfect for uh, scaring away predators that want to eat them. I know you guys don't want to eat something that's stinky and not too many other animals will either. The tamanduas will also use that scent marking to be able to um, show who they are and where they're going. These amazing adaptations are so important to allow southern tamanduas to solve problems and to survive in the wild. How can we learn from animals like Tupi to solve our own problems and improve our everyday lives? Whether it is finding a better way to rake your lawn, coming up with a, a design to find the missing TV remote, or hiding your toys from your younger siblings. Can you come up with a new or improved design inspired by the southern tamandua to help improve your own life?